And now, your first alert weather. Well, it's yet another consecutive day of snow showers, cold temperatures, and slightly breezy conditions. Thankfully, we are in for a change late tonight into your Monday. We're going to start drying things up a lot more. The temperatures are going to slowly rise and we'll have winds being a lot more on the calm side of things heading into the next few days. The only downside of that is that it's going to be a very short break before our next system comes in right after that. We'll get into that coming up right now in Maine weather. But for now, 26 degrees, overcast conditions. We just had snow showers roll by in Rexburg just a couple minutes ago. Winds at 10 miles an hour at the moment and we could have more snow showers on the way from the west side out towards central Idaho. We have isolated snow showers out across areas around Mackey and also heading up into Lemhi County all the way up into Salmon. Elsewhere we have an entire line of snow showers mainly dotting the highlands that are just south of the Magic Valley just to the east side of the Snake River Plain but we've seen plenty of light snow showers roll into the Snake River Plain and Magic Valley areas right now slash a couple minutes ago for areas around Idaho Falls in Rexburg. That entire line's pushing a cell or two into southeastern Idaho at this hour with a little bit of snow out for Soda Springs and for areas around Preston out right now. As this, this line continues to move further east and will continue to cross over I-15 and maybe even get into southeast Idaho in the next couple minutes, next hour or two as well. So more snow on the way from the west side is going to continue at least for the night time ahead. It's a stationary front continues to stay stationary and stay with us. But as I mentioned beforehand, this system is finally going to move on its way out for the day tomorrow. And its, and its replacement will be a nice brief high pressure system that will come and ride the jet stream into our region. So that will dry things up nicely for Monday and for most of Tuesday before the atmospheric river kicks in another system that's going to give us more rain, more rain, yes, and snow into Wednesday and later in the week down into Thursday and Friday too. Let's look at the Vipercast and see how the rest of the night folds with this current system that's going to be with us. So into around 8 p.m. tonight, we're continuing the snow coverage across central Idaho along the Continental Divide with clearing most of the snow showers out of the Snake River Plain at least for the nighttime ahead. So before we'll clear things out for the entire region here heading into the overnight hours and by the time we get into early tomorrow morning, only a stray snow shower is really left for the southern highlands that could really rock us in for the day for Monday. Then uh, and heading into Tuesday, we'll stick with mostly dry conditions, mostly sunny skies actually until finally starting to get a little more cloud cover in front of our next system coming Tuesday afternoon, especially more into Wednesday. Now we're going to slowly bump up the temperatures as we actually pick up winds out of the south of over the next few days, but it's going to be a very slow, gradual increase. So highs tomorrow are going to reach the lower 30s. That's still well below our typical average for this time of year and lows tonight could be getting down into the single digits in some areas like Soda Springs with a low of 6 and a high of 26 tomorrow. 28 in Jackson, 29 in St. Anthony, 30 in Rexburg, 39 in Salmon. Lows tonight into the single digits for Mackey and Arco. And lastly for the Snake River Plain, we have highs into the lower 30s taking about a 2 to 3 degree temperature increase from the highs that we saw today. We have a bigger increase into Tuesday and Wednesday where highs could reach the lower 40s in Blackfoot. We have isolated rain and snow showers returning on Wednesday that are likely to continue for the rest of the week. Rexburg, two dry days for Monday and Tuesday. Then the rain and snow comes back on Wednesday and lingers around for the rest of the week there. Jackson, 28 degrees. Only a slim chance of a snow shower remaining for tomorrow morning with a high of 28 degrees. Our high is up to almost 40 in time for Wednesday there. Salmon, 39 degrees. Highs in the lower 40s Tuesday through Friday there. Pocatello, 36 degrees. We could reach 47 in time for Wednesday. That'll look to give us some possible rain showers in for Wednesday. And same thing for Idaho Falls. Mixed showers on Wednesday leading to more snow chances for Thursday, Friday, and even carrying all the way into next week. But all that is after a nice two-day break for the next two days. Now send it back over to Kaylee. The National